When the government cloud strategy was launched in 2011, it promised to change the way public ICT is financed and managed for good. As a CEO or CFO, it was more power to you. You were going to get IT that not only cut costs, but was also more responsive and agile enough to support new policies and strategies. So four years on, how are we doing? We work with iGov to investigate what senior professionals working in central government think about progress so far. The good news is that many of the government professionals believe that new digital services and the cloud are an opportunity for them to improve service delivery, not just cut costs. Now the bad news. Many also said there's a mismatch between the areas they want IT to support and the ones which are getting investment. Many are also not confident about what IT is going to give them. Fundamentally, there's still a disconnect between what business leaders in government want and what they think their IT can deliver. And unfortunately, that means digital transformation programs still have little chance of getting off the ground. Unless we do something. Our analysis of this research is that CEOs and CFOs must now think about taking action in a few key areas. Firstly, they must think about introducing multi-level skills accreditation programs for technical, operational and business functions. These programs will get everyone speaking the same language. Ideally, the programs should also work across government, enabling easier transfer of skills and knowledge between departments, without causing further breakdowns in understanding. Secondly, leaders should invest more seriously in employee engagement programs that get everyone on board with the transformation agenda. Time and again, we've seen that any change brought about by IT will only be effective if the implementation pays as much attention to the impact on people, trust and relationships as it does to the impact on systems. Thirdly, they can limit investment in legacy systems. We often hear that 70% of IT budget in government is spent on standing still with the old systems and only 30% in innovation. That's too much. CEOs and CFOs today have the power to cut off investment in existing legacy systems that don't have a clear roadmap to new digital and cloud-based systems. This will free up funds to invest in the aforementioned training and employee engagement programs. There will be fear, but explaining the benefits of this action is all part of the change management process that needs to happen. For more on our ideas and our research, why not read the full report on our website?